So uh, right now, in schools, we only offer one way of uh, for children to be successful, right? So we have to sit down and listen and memorize and be good at tests and all of that. So that's just one uh, one way of being successful. But kids, children, students, they they have many talents. They have many uh, passions. They they bring a lot of different things to school. So we need to offer more ways of being successful at school. So you want to be successful building things. You want to be successful in art. You want to be successful by being a great scientist and, and all kinds of things. So I think being inclusive is a lot about recognizing that children have different talents, different intellectual passions. Uh, they bring different things to schools and offering uh, lots of pathways to success within schools for those kids. So so that they can all succeed and they can all participate in this world of knowledge, of culture, and not just uh, one type of, of student. Right? And I think the conditions for that are to have uh, curricula that are uh, inclusive, so curricula that, can, that accept all of those different talents, so giving opportunities for all of the children to express what they know. We need lots of different kinds of spaces for children to do those kinds of things. So the classroom is a, a great space if you are good at lectures, but you need a place to invent things, you need a place to do art, you need a place to do science. So we need in schools lots of different spaces for children to show their talent, their abilities and all of that. And you need teachers that are trained to recognize, nurture and understand those different contributions. And you know that's not easy to do, but I think that's uh, more and more necessary, especially now that we live in a society where uh, we don't want people that just do the same stuff over and over and over. We, we want people that are inventive, that can create the future, that can create new things. And, and the best way to do that is to make children aware that they can make a difference, that they can contribute to society, they can, they can create new things, and they are not just like uh, robots repeating, doing the same thing over and over. So the earlier, the earliest we can start this process of making children aware of their talents and giving them ways to express them, uh, I think, uh, th the best. And we'll be building a, a future that's better for everyone. Well, I think in, in my experience, to, to make those kinds of projects of educational innovation uh, successful, you need a strong research institute behind them. Because if you don't have research, if you're not doing continuous improvement of the programs, if you don't have professional educators and researchers designing and refining the, 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 the projects, it's really hard to be successful. So I was very excited to I mean, I am very excited to be here in, in Dury and to work with the researchers at, at in Dury because I think it's it's the perfect kind of institution for us to collaborate with uh, to have an impact because you work all over Italy, you know the system, you know what, what it takes to be successful. And so I think in, in this collaboration, we can you know exchange experiences and exchange information and make it happen in the Italian public school system. So this summer I went to California and I decided to meet uh, Tamar in uh, Stanford and uh, invite the, her and them to start considering the way to work together. So I present our work uh, and probably Tamar likes something and uh, she suggests me to go deep in some uh, some research and especially greenhouse hydroponic greenhouse inside the school and so we are starting to working together so uh, i got an email from yes. you and he, he was really in time precisely in time and we met in the in my um, yes. lab and then um i think i presented the bifocal modeling yes um, and I saw that there's a lot of enthusiastic and you really like what you do. And uh, also I thought that what you do is important because you work with schools and not just research and theory, but you actually work with the students and the schools. 
So um, I thought it's a good idea to consider collaboration. And that's where we are. Thank you very much.